California's wine country, located in the Northern Bay area, is known worldwide as a premier wine-making region. The area is renowned for its many wineries, Michelin star restaurants, boutique hotels, luxury resorts, historic architecture, and rich culture. Wine lovers vacationing in California absolutely must see this region of the state to fully appreciate the fruit of the vine that has been filling our cups and warming our hearts for well over a century. If you're planning a California wine adventure, we recommend visiting between three to five wineries per day. This will give you ample time to leisurely explore each one while still having the opportunity to relax and take in all the beauty. But remember to plan accordingly, never drink and drive. It would be wise to bring along a designated driver, take Ubers, or book a day trip with a local California Wine Country tour service. So without further delay, let's take a look at some of the best wineries in the region that you should definitely consider visiting next time you hit the Golden Coast. Melville Vineyards and Winery Melville's tasting room can be found on the ground floor of a Mediterranean-inspired villa just 12 miles from the Pacific Ocean near Santa Barbara. This region is technically in the larger Santa Ynez Valley area, which was famously the backdrop of the film Sideways. Opulent French doors greet you before you're led to an expansive patio. The villa includes an area where you can enjoy a lovely afternoon picnic paired with a glass of small-batch, estate-grown Pinot Noir that won't disappoint. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation. And stick around for a lot more California wineries and vineyards. Arteza Winery Located 15 minutes from downtown Napa Valley in Sonoma, the tasting room at this world-class winery is actually built into a hill. After climbing the stairs to where the wine tasting entrance is located, you'll be greeted by a gorgeous pond adorned with stone art and fountains that overlook rows of elegantly manicured vineyards on the hillside. The views are breathtaking, especially if you've already enjoyed a glass or two of their finest red. Speaking of, Artessa's wine will blow your mind. Each wine has a dynamic depth of flavor. Everything they produce is rich and smooth. None of their offerings taste the same. Each wine is distinctly unique in its own way. Make sure you include this exquisite winery on your list of spots to visit. Alma Rosary Winery and Vineyards A fountain located out back is where this winery hosts its outdoor tasting bar on weekends, but it also contributes heavily to the casual, laid-back, backyard vibe of this biologically diverse winery. You can find the tasting room by driving down a long gravel road. There you'll find some of the most jaw-droppingly impressive views of the surrounding vineyards in the Santa Rita Hills. Pinot Noir is one of Alma Rosa's most sought-after wines. Opus 1 This Napa Valley winery is both lavish and architecturally inspiring. Here you'll find unparalleled views of the surrounding regions from high atop their roof deck. Their tasting room overlooks the vineyards on the valley floor of Rutherford and Oakville. While you're visiting, make sure you experience their delectable yet fairly pricey Petit Verdot, Cabernet France, and Malbec. Each sip might be pretty expensive, but we can guarantee you won't be dissatisfied. Far Niete Winery If you're a big fan of Chardonnay, then this acclaimed winery located in Napa Valley might be what you're looking for. The Far Niete Winery grounds look like they were teleported from the European countryside. With old-world architecture and lush greenery, this winery is a masterpiece for the eyes to behold. The moment you step inside, an attendant will pour you a glass of their Chardonnay and take you on a tour of the facilities. On the tour, you'll get a chance to see the underground Napa Valley wine caves where they store the majority of their barrels. There's something so special about aging wine underground. Above ground storage operations can't hold a candle to what they have going on here. Not only do they produce some of the finest Chardonnay on the planet, but their Pinot Noir and Cabernet Sauvignon are also some of our personal favorites. If you have a sweet tooth, you might also enjoy their Dolce Dessert wine, which we might add is the perfect dash of bright sweetness to finish up a heavy, savory meal. Ferrari Carano Vineyards Located on Dry Creek Road, along the upper portion of the Dry Creek Valley Appalachian, is where you'll find one of the most awe-inspiring views of Lake Sonoma. Make sure you stop by and experience the wines that Ferrari Carano have been producing for decades. They're best known for their noted Chardonnays, but they also make a handful of other varieties that might strike your fancy. Before making your way to the underground tasting bar, make sure you take a good hard look at Lake Sonoma down below and mosey through the winery's five acres of flower gardens. Kunde Family Winery This winery has some of the most beautiful views of any of the wineries in the video. Kunde is situated on an 1,850-acre estate in the heart of Sonoma County and was in fact the location where the film Bottle Shocked was filmed. After arriving, you'll walk through huge trees shading a fountain-filled pond. 
Then you'll enter the tasting room. Most tours will also take you to see the wine caves and finish with a mountaintop wine tasting complete with views that'll leave you breathless. The wine itself is quite enjoyable and clearly well made. We personally preferred their Cabernet Sauvignons and their Chardonnays. They also have a fairly reasonably priced wine club that allows you to choose precisely which wines you'd like to be sent to your home. Flowers Vineyards In the late 1980s, a former nursery owner from Pennsylvania, wanting to shake things up, purchased this plot of prime real estate along the Sonoma coast. 30-plus years later, and this winery is producing some of the highest quality and distinguished Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs in the world. But it's Flowers Vineyard's view that will really blow you away. From the tasting room, you'll witness layers of coastal fog creeping across the moss-covered trees. St. Francis Winery This Casadero winery, also in Sonoma County, features rows and rows of beautiful vines, as well as a field of lavender you can view while sipping on their wines on their tasting patio. We recommend ordering a flight of wine coupled with a charcuterie board to fully enjoy those mesmerizing views. The atmosphere here is peaceful and serene, and you can even explore the vineyard on foot, picking grapes as you wander with your glass. The wines are full-flavored, finely crafted, easy to drink, and most of them are also conveniently available for purchase at your local supermarket. Stag's Leap Wine Cellars Stag's Leap Winery was listed by Sonoma Magazine as one of the top five most romantic winery destinations, and we think they live up to that reputation quite nicely. This place is truly magical. The wine experts guide you through each wine and walk you through the individual flavor notes as you sip on wines crafted with love while enjoying beautiful views of the rocky hillside with vineyards off in the distance. The aesthetics here rival the deliciousness of their wines. The grounds are immaculate and clearly tended with expertise and passion. Hall Wines Located atop the Rutherford Appalachian on Auberge Road, at the end of a windy, steep uphill drive is one of two Hall tasting rooms. The second and arguably most popular location can be found along the main road, Route 29. This smaller, quaint tasting room is reminiscent of a chic house with windows looking out on the vineyard below. Modern art adorns the walls of the tasting room. Down below, Hall boasts a glamorous underground cellar complete with over 14,000 square feet of caves and a communal table for private events and tastings. All these features combined make this one of Napa Valley's most luxurious wineries. Sterling Vineyards Last but not least, we have another Napa Valley winery located near Calistoga. Their tasting room is so high up you'll actually have to catch an aerial tram to reach it. The facility, which evokes comparisons to the stark white marble architecture of the Greek Isles, features not only tasting rooms but also art galleries, glimpses into the production of the wine through glass windows, and elevated walkways. But above all else, Sterling's views are without a doubt some of the finest in the region. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you ready to start planning your next California wine country vacation? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.